Bonjour mes amis, bienvenue à Servi Homestead, I am Dustin. Today I'm going to show you how to set or check the timing on your International 706 or Formal 706 with the D310 German engine. Okay, first thing you can do is remove this plate right here. It looks like this. Um, for mine, these two studs stayed in and the other two came out, but it's a 13 millimeter nut. That will allow you to see the drive gear of the pump. Then you need to rotate the engine 16 millimeter on one of the nuts here on the front of the pulley. And you'll probably need a cheetah pipe to help you turn it. You want to turn in the counterclockwise direction when you're looking from the front. So you want to turn it away from you until you see a little mark right here. I'm going to rotate a little bit more counterclockwise until that 6 is lower in that bottom left corner. It should be a number. Uh, for mine, it's a number 6. And when that number is here in the lower corner on your pump's drive wheel, then you know that you are about to start the compression stroke for the number one cylinder. Once you have that number or special mark lined up, then you crank the engine in the normal operating direction, which for most of them I believe is this way, clockwise when looking at it from the front. until you get to the timing marks so for mine it is 14 degrees before top dead center here's my arrow and I would keep rotating this way until the marks on the edge of the wheel line up with the point 14 degrees Then you need to look at the mark in the pump. I have a clear plate on here for right now, but normally it's a, it's a solid plate that seals it. So that's the indicator, that flat piece, and it's held on with this little flathead screw. But you will see a line on that black wheel back there and this is not the line this is the line with an L next to it that is the line that would be used if your engine has left hand rotation this one does not so I should see a plain old line a silver line across that black wheel close to this indicator if my timing is is close or on it's hard for you to see in there but my mark is a tad high and that's why I have this all apart because I need to make that adjustment. And that little bit could be a big problem. It could be a few degrees and that will definitely show in the way the engine runs. If the silver line is not right above that little indicator, you need to adjust it a little bit. And that would be done here. So you would, I have one out, but there are these three bolts. You would loosen them and you can actually rotate this plate a little bit. This plate spins inside of the drive gear, right in the middle of it. So you can adjust this a little bit one way or the other without moving this gear. All right, so I lined it up with this mark being on where it needs to be. And the pulley is that way a little bit too much. So the pulley needs to come this way without my shaft moving. So how do I do that? Well, I turn the shaft hub that way a hair to match up with this. I have an old chisel that broke, but this little pointed side is actually perfect.
We're gonna have to beat on it a little bit harder. I think we got it. So here we are on 14 degrees before top dead center. And there's my little mark right above the flat. See, there's the flat and there's the silver line right above it. All right, so it wasn't off by much, but I think that makes a big difference anyway. You can also get a little bit of movement by loosening this nut and the one like it on the other side, and you can actually rotate the pump itself just a hair. It's not the easiest thing to do because these lines, these fuel lines are really stiff. But you can adjust a little bit until the silver line in the black wheel lines up with this flathead indicator. And then you know that your engine injection pump is in time with the pistons like it should be. This can cause a lot of trouble if it's not in time. You'll get smoking, it'll be hard to start, you'll have a lack of power, maybe a lack of response to the throttle. So if you have any of those problems, you may want to check your timing by following these steps. Alright, hope, hope, I hope this helps some of you. Take care, we'll see you on the next one. It's so weird, look how still they're trying to be. They're so much more skittish than the animals we first got. Look at them, they're barely even chewing. That's funny.